All right, so today I'm going to test out um, three different uh, portable water heater kettles, electric. They're all rated at 800 uh, watts. And uh, we're going to see how fast it takes to uh, heat up 0.5 liters or half a liter. All right, I'm going to test it on... Uh, um, using my portable inverter actually my uh, uh, voltage inverter that I ha have hooked up to my car this is a 2021 Tesla Model Y that I hooked up a uh, inverter to 12 volt inverter this one's made by Eastwood it plugged in here I have a, uh, a cord coming out to a uh, surge protector and I'm gonna have it gonna plug it in right here so my do gonna do my testing right here and here are the three uh, water kettles that I'm testing they're all rated at 800 watts. Um, these two are uh, have a capacity of 0.5 liters. This one actually has a capacity of 0.8 liters, a little bit larger. <clears throat> but I only filled it up at uh, 0.5 liters, so they all all three of them have the same amount of water. So, and it's all, it just came out of my tap water, out of my sink, uh, on the coldest setting. All right, so let's try out this first one. It's a beige color, um, portable electric kettle, uh, model TK-0201. All right, let's try this one. Put this on the... Uh, Let's turn it on and then we'll time it all right turning it on I see a red light let's start the timer I guess that light is supposed to turn off when it reaches temperature All right, so far it's about one minute and 25 seconds. I also have a uh, amp meter hooked up to this um, inverter and looks like I'm pulling about 76.8 amps, DC amps from the, uh, the battery. Let me look at the, the voltage. My battery voltage right now is uh, steady at 13.7 and I could hear the water starting to uh, boil. We're at two minutes. All right, it's been three minutes. It's still on. So it's supposed to shut off automatically when it reaches uh, boiling point and we're still at about 82.5 amps oh, I could hear the water but oh it just popped we're at 3 minutes and 30 seconds 3 minutes and 30 seconds and I hear the water boiling You can see the water boiling. I don't think I need to measure the temperature. But if in case you wanted to see it. It's well over 180, 
Oh, it's approaching 200. Two oh five. Yeah, it looks like we're about two oh four, two oh five. And that was three minutes and thirty seconds. All right, now for my second uh, water kettle that I'm gonna test. It's the Mason, also 0.5 liters at 800 watts. Here you go. I'm gonna boil five point five liters of water. That's it. And we're going to turn the on button starting now. The red light's on. We're going to start our timer. There you go. Yep, the amber light is on. Switch is on. Uh, our voltage is at 13.67 right now coming from the battery which is powering my inverter the inverter is on the inside there let's go take a look at the uh, how many amps we're pulling all right so this one is actually pulling only 65.4 amps DC amps compared to the other kettle. I think the other kettle was at 83 amps. So this is the Mason, 0.5 liters. Uh, there's our voltage uh, at 13.6. And so far we're at one minute and 35 seconds. I noticed on this one, it's a little bit harder to see the, uh, the amber light. The other one was nice because it had a, had a larger light. But let's see if this one shuts off by itself. I could hear it blowing now. 13.6 volts. Still at 65 amps. DC amps. Now, again, this is an 800 watt uh, water kettle. Thirteen point six uh, volts, though. All right, we're at three minutes and five seconds. Now this one's only pulling sixty-five amps, versus the other one was eighty-three amps. I wonder if this will be a little bit slower. Seems like the other one was pulling more amps. Yep, we're at three minutes and 35 seconds right now. Now we're at four minutes 
and 15 seconds. Oh, there you go. It just popped. Uh, the switch turned off. The lights off at 4 minutes and 15 seconds. It was at 4 minutes and 15 seconds. Our voltage is still at 13.6. And uh, of course our amps is back down to zero since we're not. Uh, since it turned off automatically. Alright, so that one was at 4 minutes and 15 seconds. A little bit slower. And the water temperature is about the same. 204, 205. It's pretty much the same. 204 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, and for my last uh, water heater kettle, it's uh, this brand. Uh, it's also 800 watts, uh, but this one is a larger one, a little bit larger than these guys, uh, at 0.8 liters. Uh, but I only filled it up to 0.5 liters. So there's still um, some room for more water, but I'm uh, going to test this one. That's the name of the company. <laughs> But it is also 800 watts, so let's try it out. Um, I'm gonna reset this. Alright, here we go. Our voltage is at 13.68 on the battery. Uh, let's turn this on. And it's on. Mm, I could see a red light there. Oh, I gotta start this stop this stopwatch. There you go. Three, four, okay. Uh, still at 13.73. It is on. Let's see how many amps we're pulling. Ah, oh, this is very comparable to the first one. We're pulling about 84 amps. DC amps, so I'm thinking this one is a little bit stronger than the second one, but just as strong as the first one. So we should have similar results to the uh, first water kettle. And we're at 44 seconds, 45. How's our voltage? Voltage of the uh, Tesla battery, 12 volts. Lead acid is still holding at 13.7. No issues there. Uh, yeah, we're still pulling about 84.6 amps. There's my positive wire and my negative wire uh, going to the back. Uh, and this is connected underneath my my second row seats here uh, to my DC to DC converter and I hear it boiling now still at 13.68 volts one minute and 50 seconds. That was pretty fast. I think this is gonna this is gonna stop first. This might be quicker. I kind of like this one too because the uh, the lid is attached to the kettle, whereas these ones they come off and you could you can lose them. Still at 13.64, still heating up, we're at 85, oh, we're 
we're at two minutes and 55 seconds. I'm doing a, a video. We're at 3 minutes and 13 seconds. I could hear it boiling. Still at 13. Oh, that's it. I just heard it pop. We're at 3 minutes and 25 seconds, which is close to the first kettle. The first kettle was at 3 minutes and 30 seconds. So, light shut off, switch turned off. Our battery voltage is still at 13.67 volts, so we're not we're not pulling too many uh, too many uh, we're not bringing the battery uh, voltage down at all. And my water temperature is at 204 degrees, just like the other ones. So I I think we're good. So it looks like this is the winner. I'm pretty happy with this one. Uh, it's a the 0.8 liter uh, water heater kettle uh, made by that company. I got it on, on Amazon. Uh, I'm going to keep this one because this one looks the best actually and matches my matches the car. The reason why I bought this is so that I could make the reason why I bought this is uh, so that I can make es espressos and um, lattes uh, whenever I'm out uh, somewhere and I bought this Wakako Nespresso uh, Nano Presso uh, machine uh, which is nice because it takes Nespresso pods and it's pretty cool looking look at that comes with this carrying case this thing it looks pretty good it's rated at 18 bars 260 psi so I can take um, my Nespresso pods that I have at, at home and make espresso on the go let's say you're camping or you're at a basketball game for your kids and uh, you're waiting outside or, or waiting in between games because my, my kids play basketball I can go uh, have a latte at the car and not have to go anywhere so that's my setup everything's nice and portable um, I could and uh, if I wanted to make a latte I have uh, I can have milk in my uh, my cooler which is in my front in my frunk since I have a cooler in here I can put my milk in here it's powered right here and my 12 volt socket that I installed so all these uh, things I I, uh, I posted uh, YouTube videos on how to install all of these things. So if you want uh, to check them out, um, please like this video and subscribe. And you could uh, go to my playlist and and check out my my car video uh, car modification videos. So yeah, there's my cooler. It just sits in here. It's always cold. 24-7 always have cold drinks in here and now I have the ability to make espressos and lattes since I bought all these gadgets right here all right if you want to check out my uh, 12 volt uh, 1000 watt inverter setup it's, uh, it's all inside underneath my sub trunk here pull this apart there it is I have the cord just popping out over here 
There it is right there. A thousand watts. East made by Eastwood. Uh, just plugged in my uh, my surge protector there. This, there's a switch over here to turn it off and on. There's my positive and negative wires that, that come across. Goes underneath there towards the uh, the left side of the uh, second row seats. Goes over there. And here's my second row seat. It pops out through there. Comes around. Goes right here underneath the, sh the seat cushion and I have it coming across. And then what I did was I added a an Anderson plug. So here's your Anderson quick quick release plug. I can always pull this out and this whole thing comes out. And I could um, I could coil this up and put it away. And then this Anderson plug stays in the car. And it has a, I bought a cap for it, so I can just cap it off. But if you follow this, um, this is all, this area is called the penthouse. It's underneath the uh, second row seat here. So in the penthouse, you have access to the DC to DC converter right here. So if you follow my cable here, this is a two gauge cable that I installed. So I have one cable that goes to this negative cable goes to the negative side of the DC to DC converter right there and then the red one goes over to the positive side of your DC to DC converter see there's a red cover on that positive uh, stud there and I added a 100 amp uh, fuse in line right there. So just in case anything happens, something um, shorts out, my fuse will blow first and my car won't burn down. But that's my setup. And I did try, by the way, to use a... Uh, 2000 watt inverter and it's too much too much for the car to handle and uh, it pulls too many amps and brings my and starts to bring my voltage down on my battery on below 12 volts so I uh, crossed that um, out of my equation but so far this 1000 watt inverter works fine uh, the DC to DC converter 12 volt um, charger is able to handle it all right please like and like like this video and subscribe please uh, so that other people can uh, um, check out my build here my mod and uh, hopefully they they'd, they'd want to do it too they'll be able to see uh, watch my videos because I am posting all my uh, all these builds on my uh, on my uh, YouTube page. There's a closer look at the uh, at the uh, fuse inline fuse. All right, that's it. Thanks for. Uh watching the video and I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later.